This is the free motion quilting tutorial for graffiti art. This design is stitched in a very interesting way. It is a foundational design and what your foundation is is the words that you want to write and in this case they are sharp lines, straight lines and sharp angles and that's very important. Graffiti art uh, is one that is meant to look like graffiti and not necessarily like your handwriting. So uh, right now I am writing the word graffiti onto this block and you can see I'm using all straight lines and sharp angles to stitch this. You can mark it of course uh, and that would actually be a very good idea because it's kind of hard to remember how to spell <laughs> while you're quilting and I'm not sure but I think I might have spelled this word wrong. <laughs> I'm um, not the best speller in the entire world, so that's just one of those things that you might want to mark your words before you get started, and that will actually help you to to come up with kind of a more interesting way of showing the words. Like you can play with how you do um, stitch certain letters. You know how you can see the A has kind of a slightly diagonal crossbar rather than just a straight line. The F is a little interesting. Um, yeah, I think I did try and stitch two F's and then I realized what I did so I ripped it out. So that was what that cut was. And so now I'm coming up for two T's and it will definitely help to mark your uh, lines, your word, especially because you want to be careful not to leave too many areas that are completely closed. Um, and you want to be careful of that because you're going to have to go in and fill them. And you can see me doing that right now. I'm filling this little space between the two T's with a closed spiral. So I'm just going to go in and then travel stitch my way back out again. And this is really important because you want to keep the design consistent with everything around it. So we're going to, after we get this base set up, we're going to just simply echo quilt it. So whenever you have a closed area, such as the inside of an A or an E or this area of the two T's, you'll want to go in with a closed spiral and that will keep everything nice and consistent. So now I've cut again, I've finished writing the word, and now I'm coming up and I am echo quilting this entire word. And occasionally you're going to have an area where, okay, if you stitch out of it, you won't have very much space to get back in to fill it. So just go in ahead and fill the whole thing up before working your way back out of the area. And as long as you keep your lines a consistent distance apart, then it's going to look just fine. And you can see how I'm just kind of wiggling my way out. Now, of course, the echo quilting is going to kind of hide your word a little bit. Um, that's kind of the point. You want it to be subtle. Um, there are very few times that you really want words written on a quilt, or at least, I mean, this is my personal opinion, and you want them to just clobber your head, <laughs> you know, be able to read them from 50 feet away. So the reason I designed this uh, stitched this way was so that you could write words on your quilt and you could have that in the design but not necessarily be the number one thing that people see whenever they look at your quilt. The echo quilting will slightly hide those words. And so basically you see me I'm just stitching uh, echo quilting one side and then I'm going to go to the opposite side and echo quilt it as well. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish graffiti art. Learn more about free motion quilting and get the tools and supplies you need to make beautiful quilts at daystyledesigns.com.